The Port Talbot Railway and Docks Company, otherwise known as the PTR and D, was formed in 1894 to secure the means of bringing minerals, mainly coal, to the harbours in South Wales and it took over the docks of Port Talbot. It opened a line in 1897 and reached a connection with the Great Western Railway the following year. The lines were extremely steeply graded and operation was difficult and expensive but the company was indeed successful and passenger operations on the main line started in 1898 but was not the principal part of the business. Reduced and dwindling numbers on the passenger services in the face of economic decline resulted in withdrawal of some services and 30 years later would bring the closure of many lines in the area including this one between 1964 and 1967 when mineral and coal traffic declined. So taking a look at Realmap Online I can show you where we're going to begin. So we're following that red line from left to right. There's Port Talbot and the docks on the left hand side and we've got Maestig on the right hand side if I've pronounced that correctly. There is one single station on this route right near the uppermost section of this line and that is at Bryn. I believe it had a couple of platforms and lasted until the 1930s but continued until 1962 for freight. There were numerous collieries along this branch and there was also a very long tunnel almost a thousand meters in length that I don't believe I can pronounce but it is just here on the right hand side and at the end of this route we'll get to have a look at that at the portal. If I just change the map slightly and you see all those other lines appearing look at them all it's absolute mecca of industrial lines tramways and narrow gauge lines operating out of collieries coal mines and all the quarries and everything else all manner of places i bet there's some history to be told in many of those if you could at least track them all down and see what remains i'm going to jump down to the track bed and begin my journey along this route so i'm on the track bed proper now it operated between 1898 up until 1964 it's on an uphill gradient uphill trajectory right now that's what i've got going forward i've got the river on my right hand side, you might be able to hear that. Old signal post there, a lot of foundation to that. Must have been upright. So that's a good little find early on. Track bed is heading up forwards, just there look. There is a station upon this route as well, Brin station, and that operated until 1964 as well, but only to freight, it closed much earlier to passengers. And after that, there is a, a tunnel almost a thousand meters in length i can't pronounce it so i'll put the text along the bottom for you i'm not going to get in that one but hopefully we'll find the portal clareford collaring was also up here and it opened in 1920 and lasted until 1958 when it was closed by the national coal board again all the way through this i'm going to put the spellings down below so because I'm not going to get them all right, these pronunciations, right next to the bubbling river next to me. Track bed going off forward, old stone building just on my right, look, long demolished, rectangular shape. That's in very close proximity to the track bed, look just here. You get the drone up soon, too many trees around at the moment. This is truly stunning. I'm struggling to show you stuff on the right because of the sunlight, but down there, look, you've got the bubbling, flowing water. It's like a holiday park or something over there. And that's where the colliery used to be that I mentioned previously. Hopefully I've found a picture or two of that for you. Reasonably good surface as well if you're going to come and do this. I'll keep you updated if it changes. Hold down there, we've got the railway boundary fence posts, all wooden. Another kind of bubbling brook down at the bottom. That's probably one of those sorts that just flows when there's been prolonged rainfall. 
beautiful view back to Port Talbot around about a mile away now still on a upwards trajectory as well I don't know if that really picks it up I think you could just make out I'm going uphill this is lovely I've kind of come just for a couple of nights having a bit of a mooch around and doing this but already I've seen there's a heck of a lot to come back for and I'm going to do that and the embankment's coming quite high up now that's quite a drop down there if you just make out the fence posts dart so long on the opposite side as well quite a drop I'd say it's a very similar height and you might just make out the humped raised track bed just the scenery looks like it's going to get even better going forward but what I'm leaving behind is pretty beautiful as well another random concrete section just there it's not a sleeper it's got a weird shape to it it's not going to be a fence post too high up and all the fence posts are down there and the wooden mm, I know seems to carry on must be about 8 foot long and the river's caught up with us now look, look at this down here it's quite a drop isn't it gosh that's lovely we've got to go over it we've got a bridge just here look that's going to pass over it's just uh, showing us how much higher we're getting above where we began. There we go down there, that's nice, isn't it? On the other side. It's got quite a curve on it, hasn't it? Bit of a camber as well. Crikey, we're getting higher and higher, I love this. Um, quite curiously, just above Port Talbot, and um, I just said morning to a gentleman, and his response was, oh, duck, didn't expect that here, of all places. That's funny. Beautiful view going forward, look. Tree lined. The river's over there now. And there's looking back at that cambered curve, look. So we're much higher up now. Look how far down that is. But on the other side, the road's got its very own bridge, look, so we can see down below, look. Look at that. So that's pretty smart. The incline on this track bed is becoming quite astonishing. I don't think you're really going to be able to see it, but this is, you know, sometimes I follow these railways and I think, how on earth did they get up there? Unbelievable. And you must have had to, I don't know, I'm no locomotive driver or anything, but was there a method of riding the brakes so it didn't just basically run away going down these? It must have been something where you've forever on them to stop it from just razzing off down the hill. It's quite interesting, our track bed's there. I've just been stood there and shown you where the river goes underneath. It curves around there. This is across the road and it looks like an old track bed. But maps didn't show me anything for a track bed going off this way. They're like old sleepers down there, aren't they? I don't know what this sign will say just here. Oh no, there's nothing there, that is it. It's just really faded. Just saying about danger of drowning and no swimming. Path appears to have a name called the Beast of Bryn. The Beast of Bryn. Here's our track bed, look. Still going up, curving off to the left again. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at this beauty. An old railway worker's plate layers hut. It's a nice little find, isn't it? That's in great condition as well, isn't it? Let's go inside. Wow. Looks like um, there's an option to sleep here if you want to. That must have been outside at some point to have them tire marks on it like that. View of the track bed, just there, look. 
and you can see oncoming workings coming up the hill you've got the valley and the river down the bottom and back out you see the workings coming down must be very cold and wintry at times working in these little places but you know what i bet there's many people that given the opportunity would happily spend a working day in there and along this track section again So it has been a bit of a flowing stream for about the last half mile or so. Quite a bit of water down there, as you can see when I step in it there. Look at these old concrete fence posts. Reinforced rodding inside them all the way along look. Really, really high up now. Look how far down that is. You can see the incline there of the embankment. So this was clearly cut out to allow the track bed to be put into place starting to lose the flowing river still got all the concrete posts up they add a nice little bit of um, history to this walk it's been beautiful along here there's plenty to do around here these kind of walks there's so many lost railways collieries quarries steelworks brick kilns all manner of old routes leading up to these places Look at this, plenty of these as well. Beautiful tiny streams coming down, making little waterfalls and depositing themselves down in the valley below. Getting closer to Bryn now, where there was a station. So the entire route from the bottom down at Port Talbot has been an incline going up. I think I'm finally getting to some kind of flattened summit. I don't know what the elevation would have been completely. That's where we come from. Really, really high up. I don't know if that will really show you. Quite a long way down, look. Quite high up with the hills on the opposite side. Owen Jones Way, we've got the village of Bryn just around there. It's beautiful, isn't it? First bridge of this design that we've seen on this railway route walk today, abutments and beautiful arch. I'm going to take you on the other side actually because of that glaring sunlight. That's nice, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. It's in really good condition too, it has to be with this being an active road going down there into the village and back towards Port Talbot in that direction. Got a flowing stream on that side. But yeah, that's good. I'll see you up top. On top of it now, look. Again, brilliant, isn't it? We've just been stood down there. I'm going to face you this way because of the sunlight. But 
Yeah, lovely, absolutely lovely. Bryn Station's next, that opened in 1898 in September, I believe, and it closed to passengers in 1933 and carried on for freight until 1964. So a reasonably good life spell there, wasn't there? Must have been 60, 70 years. Let's see if we can find where it was. I'll just come off the track bed for a moment just to show you how remote it's gone now. It's just scrubland, moors, hills, forests up there. The station was over there somewhere and the tunnel is over there and an old brick kiln as well. Before we get to Maesteg, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'll spell it down below. There's a viaduct near there somewhere. If I find it, it'll be another video after this one. On a bit of an embankment now, look on both sides. You can see above the roofs on that side. And that barren land is on the right. Bryn Railway Station of Neath Port Talbot, Wales was operational from 1898 until 1964. It closed to passengers on the 11th of September, 1933 and freight was the 31st of August in 1964. From this image we're looking at, it's the only one I could find. It looks like it's only got one platform. Now it must have been a passing loop for it to be double track, unless there was another platform that the photographer is actually stood at. So who knows, one platform or two platforms, comment down below if you know. So Bryn Station, that was just there behind a tree. It's all been built on by a load of bungalows. Uh, there was a junction just the other side of the road that we would have crossed to get to the station and that went up there and went off to brickworks over there and collieries over there this is our view now we're taking there's a great big pipe coming out of the ground there must be letting the land below breathe i imagine because there was all manner of stuff going off around here pits and quarries and all sorts but the size of this tree it looks like it's upturned on the right cool that's a big boy isn't it well, the tree itself looks quite small, but the earth it's pulled up around it. Crikey me. So here the track bed split into two. I believe the normal course went that way and looped around along where the trees are just there. This section that went straight on, went into a brickworks. Which way do we want to go? That's longer, but it curves around. This way is cattle down there. I've decided to go the way of the cattle because I ain't gonna hurt them and I think they're quite cute and also this is where any remaining buildings might be for the brickworks that was all on this side over there. If I do see anything over there from a distance, I have to make my way around and go and look at it. And this is by far the least it's looked like a trap bed, hasn't it? This entire walk. Look how far we've come. It just looks like a normal farm track, doesn't it, this? A very old brick wall just there maybe some sort of loading area like a platform for the brickworks for where wagons might have been loaded on top doesn't look like there's anything up here no nah, it's completely barren isn't it there's more old remains there look from a wall or building of some sort it's really really high isn't it and a concrete section on the bottom. Hmm. This wall seems to go on for a very, very long way. We'll be meeting up with the other track bed very soon, just down here.
to the brick kiln is right there, right on the junction of the railway track. The original route curved around past where the forest is up there. And that continues on up here. Now, I'm pretty sure it is still a footpath because we crossed the stile to get here in the first place, but it looks a right mess. So leaving the brickworks behind, I'm faced with a bit of this track bed is somewhere here, somewhere. Very, very muddy around there. It's our 925 meter long tunnel, which I'm not going to be able to get in. But, you know, I'll go and have a look where it was. But first of all, I've got to get through this mess. So the track bed is now down there. That's a swampy mess. I'm up here. I don't know how optimistic I'm going to be to get into this portal. But if I follow this down, I might have a chance. There are still footprints in the mud. Is that an old railway building down there? Look. Yeah, it certainly looks like it was one, doesn't it? So I've got an animal trough in there. So this is track bed level again down here. Um, interesting over here over here and here there's the old building come on we're gonna to get to this tunnel portal aren't we we're gonna do it i can see the brickwork just around there right there look just there 925 meters in length completely closed off i've got to get across here that's quite cute isn't it There we go then, completely sealed off as expected, but quite treacherous getting to it as well. Very, very muddy. There's an entire flow of water coming through it. Look, I'll stand on these bricks and get the torch out. You can just see what it's like now. There we go. Slight curve to the right, and then it appears to straighten off. That's all right, isn't it? Very, very wet in there. You could walk through it if you could get in, but very squidgy. So there we go, absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Got to see this tunnel, never been before. A little nosy inside. You can see there's a little bit of a curve going off from the right hand side. This would be perfect. The fact that there's a footpath all the way up here. Why can't we just have this one opened up? It'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? to go straight through and appear at the other side. Don't know, makes belief sometimes, doesn't it? So I'm now coming over the top. The tunnel is over there at a fair distance, but I've come around on this path, this track that we can walk on and I'm hoping eventually it'll loop around to the eastern or southernmost portal. I've come off that path now and going along this other path, which is marked on OS Maps app. So it is a path, path, and our tunnel should be down here eventually. Here it is, look, just down there. That's a long way down, isn't it? Gosh. 
I mean, it is completely closed off, isn't it? That even if you could look, you can see it's just a it's a mess down there. There's probably another way up to it from all the way down there somewhere, but it's closed off. There's no point whatsoever in even attempting that. I do hope you've enjoyed following this journey with me along this Port Talbot Railway Company former railway line closed since around 1968. I will be back in Wales. There is so much to do around here. Comment below the best railway walks for South and North Wales or anywhere in Wales that I could walk along with some of the best features and I'll do my best to get there and make it into a walking railway video. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye bye.